In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius of Antioch. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who adorn the sacred body of your church with the confessions of holy martyrs, grant, we pray, that just as the glorious passion of St. Ignatius of Antioch, which we celebrate today, brought him spl eternal splendor, so it may also be for us an unending protection. O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their, their God is their stomach, their glory is their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body, by the power of that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my crown, my joy and crown, in this way, stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The, the Lord, Lord delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The, the Lord, Lord delivered me from all my fears. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord, the Lord delivered me from all my fears. fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord, the Lord delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the Lord delivered, delivered me from, from all my fears. fears. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the man who preserves in temptation, for when he has proved, he will receive the crown of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat, but if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius of Antioch, one of the Apostolic Fathers, 
who are the apostolic fathers you know it's it's a very prestigious title they are the followers or the disciples of the apostles in other words um, they really met and listened and heard and saw one of the 12 apostles at least uh, one of the 12 they were disciples they were followers so they know exactly they still have that link uh, directly to christ they were not there during the ministry of the lord but they became followers of the original apostles so saint ignatius of antioch is one of them he was a disciple of saint john the apostle so he still has this very immediate link to the lord he was a follower of saint john now saint ignatius of antioch was martyred but in the way from you know uh, jerusalem to rome to be persecuted because he was condemned to death because of his faith he took that opportunity to keep on writing it's almost like now with you know social media update, updating your status i'm here i'm in travel right now i'm having lunch and saint ignatius did that as well so he kept writing letters to different christian communities he knew so he wrote all those letters he used his time you know traveling from you know jerusalem to rome he he knew that he would already be facing his death because that travel was actually a kind of a death travel it was he was already condemned to death so he was being brought to rome to be fed to the lions but he used that time to write letters to many christian communities and as we always say you know the blood of martyrs is the seed of the church the growth of the church really has been contributed because of the martyrs which leads us to the gospel today unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies it simply remains a grain of wheat and we know that you know um by experience a seed or a grain of wheat there's so much potential in a wheat or in a grain or in a seed but that potential will not happen if a seed or a grain of wheat remains a seed the potentials of what it can be more than itself only happens if there's a transformation in other words the seed stops to be a seed it ceases to be a seed it is transformed it becomes a plant it becomes a tree and by being transformed it bears fruit but again otherwise unless that seed is transformed it is uh, sown into the ground there will be no fruit at all it will remain just a seed same thing with our lives same thing with the church as i said you know uh, saint ignatius of antioch and all the other christian martyrs they were the ones who really contributed to the growth of the church people probably who were persecuting the church thought if we kill these christians that would be the end of these followers of the lord that by killing the followers of the lord everything will stop um, they were mistaken because as christians were being martyred many other followers of the lord many other christians were strengthened and inspired and because of that christianity just started to flourish and grow and bear much fruit so in a sense the church is that the potential of the church and each one of us is part of that is part of that potential is part of that we are all grains in this church but unless we are willing to be sown and we're willing to break kind of or die in the in the language of the gospel today unless we're willing to die and be changed and be transformed then nothing will happen with our lives there is um, an eight-year-old kid who is very famous on youtube his channel is simply is, is a very simple um, channel but he has more than 25 million subscriber kids as well i think also parents well i, I hope also eventually you know the the youtube youtube channel of our lady of lords would also have that at least one million is okay with us <laughs> but this kid is eight years old 25 million followers and um, as we know as uh, most of you know um, there's money on youtube 
you know, um, because as your video is watched all over the world and you get more and more viewers, uh, you get all these advertisements and you get paid. And apparently this kid, eight years old, he earns something like, you know, 20 million a year. And what happens? You know, it's a simple, a simple, you know, video of a, of a kid opening something, a toy, mostly toys. And he would just say, oh, you know what? This, this toy is good, you know, um, just like any other child, you know, trying to play with toys. If you press this, it would light and it's a very beautiful toy. And apparently, you know, other kids love it and it inspires parents to buy more toys. And that's how he started. But he did not start with 25 million followers immediately. I'm sure it started with just his parents following him and watching his videos. But one subscriber at a time. You know, there's also a, a post that went viral. Uh, there's this young kid um, in the Philippines who posted on um, her YouTube she created a YouTube account, you know, uh, and she realized there were already two subscribers. And she posted on her YouTube account, celebrating. She bought a bread, put like two match sticks, and lit the matches. And she said, celebrating my two subscribers. <laughs> that day, that day alone, she garnered more than a hundred thousand more subscribers simply because she posted that happiness of finally realizing and actually the two sub subscribers apparently were his parents mm -hmm. but she was happy she had two subscribers uh, why am i saying this again that's exactly what potential is it are all about unless we're willing to start from being a seed and being transformed, nothing will happen with our lives. If we can say, you know, I'm just a seed, there's nothing really much. You know, I only have two subscribers, really nothing much. We will never reach 1 million, 25 million subscribers. Same thing with the church. Same thing with our lives. If we insist and say, you know, just I'm just a seed, there's nothing, I'm useless, I'm nothing, I have no potentials, that is wrong. We all have potentials. What is essential is our willingness to grow and break away from that seed. In other words, again in the language of the gospel today, to die. To be transformed. Because we should never remain as we are. There has to be change. And that change for the better. And as we change for the better, again in the language of the gospel today, hopefully we bear fruits fruits for others and we know we, we, in our lifetime we die many times you know it could be loss of jobs it could be you know being seriously ill it could be uh, not passing you know failing in any exams there are many times that we die but if we remain close to ourselves and stop living we are just like a seed that does not grow but if we learn from it, if we rise again, then we become like seeds, sown into the ground. And after being sown into the ground, dies and changes. And as it changes, it grows. And as it grows, it bears much fruit. Same thing with us, same thing with our lives. Let the experiences of deaths and dyings in our lives, of those many instances of deaths and dyings in our lives, be an opportunity for us to change, to grow, and as we grow, to bear fruit, that we become better persons, we become more loving, we become more patient, we become more forgiving, we become more generous. Those should be the effects of our deaths and dyings. We become more believing in God, we become more prayerful. So again at our Mass today, we pray for that gift just like St. Ignatius of Antioch, he used his life when he was sentenced to death. He did not simply say, that's it. 
I'm going to stop living. No. He used his life as a way of being transformed. That he knew that with his life and with his death, new things can emerge. New things will rise. Fruits because of his life and his death. Also for us, let us use our experiences of deaths and dying as a way of being transformed. That as we rise again, we become better persons. We become more loving to God and more loving towards others. As the body of Christ, we, now, we can now be assured that our Father hears our prayers. Inspired by His confidence, we now bring our prayers to Him, our petitions. And let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may the Lord strengthen and protect each one of us, His servants. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in oppressed regions of the world, may God deliver them and bring them freedom and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who feel they cannot be forgiven, may the grace of the Holy Spirit help them know the mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those gathered here, may God grant us the wisdom to serve through faithful listening. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are sick, especially baby Theodore, Emily Brown, and Dennis Donovan, may God restore them to full health. May, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have died from COVID, may they know the peace and joy of God's love. Through all eternity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have also died from chronic illness, Connie, Dada, May, I'm sorry, Karina, Dada, May, and Ray Gonzalez, may they know the peace and joy of God's love through all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Today we pray in a very special way also for Daniel Fitzmaurice, for Helen Citrano and Giovanna Galfano for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us gathered in this celebration, for those who ask for our prayers, those whom we promise to pray for, we pray for all those prayer intentions and prayer requests that you post on our social media account. We keep on praying for our end to the pandemic and for all the intentions that we hold dear in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father of love and mercy, we humbly ask you to look favorably upon these, our prayers. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed our Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Let's be God forever. Blessed are the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of your own hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever.
Let us now pray that my sacrifice of yours be made acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his children. May his oblation and our homage be pleasing to you, O Lord, just as you accepted St. Ignatius, the wheat of Christ, made pure bread through his martyrdom and passion, through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. O treat in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of the blessed martyr Ignatius of Antioch, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and in our feeble bestow strength to bear your witness. Through Christ, O Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the palace worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, for ember evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
we greet each other with the peace of Christ. Peace to everyone at home. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Let us now recite our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly bread we have received, O Lord, and the feast of St. Ignatius, renew us, we pray, and make us Christians in name and in deed. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your and may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin.